Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here, and it's certainly been a while because we haven't done a uh, Pokemon card opening stream in a bit, or, well, no video at all. I'm trying to upload the, trying to hide the volume, because I do have Pokemon music playing in the background, so anyways, uh, this is something that my sister opened up earlier, and I guess I could show off the uh, cards, so we got a Water Energy, and I already know what the cards are, so we got Archon playing... Claydol, Marini, Misdreavus, Swablu, uh, Swirlix, Rotom, Primordial Altar, and for the rare, it was a Magirna V. So yes, that was the pack that she ordered, uh, opened. I think it was a Silver Tempest, so I did get a few more Silver Tempests, and I did get the Crown Zenith uh, Trainer uh, pack from... Uh, well, Pokemon uh, Center Elite Trainer Box. So, we're going to be opening that up along with some booster packs. We do have the Sun Silver Tempest, as we see here. And I do have two things I do want to show that aren't Pokemon related, but they came out recently. And that is these two games right here Metroid Prime Remastered and Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. So, I got those games, and I'm uh, gonna probably play Metroid first because I prefer Metroid over Kirby, especially since I've played, since I've uh, already showed that one of my games of the year within 20, well, I think 2021 was Metroid Dread. So, yeah, I do have a very big favoritism for Metroid. But uh, I need to find the other ones that are around here. Oh, here we go. And we have a few more Lost Origins. I, did get below. Uh, actually, let me see where did I put him. That's the thing. I do have him around here somewhere. Let's see, let's see. Uh, where did I put him? Ah, uh, here we go. So yeah, here is the English uh, Volo for the uh, Lost Origins. I got him after a very long while. Well, uh, I ordered it just like, uh, I believe it was Jake Chu or someone else. I don't remember if it was, uh, some, I remember someone during one of my streams, Just they just told me to get it. But uh, we do have a, two more Lost Origin ones and four more Silver Tempest. So we have seven, seven actually, yeah, we have seven Silver Tempest booster packs, two Lost Origins, and the Crown Zenith uh, Elite Trainer Box Plus from the Pokemon Center. So I think we're going to go through the uh, two Lost Origin ones we have left. I do eventually want to collect all the Lost Origin cards, just as like my first like ever, and probably my only full collection of cards, just to get like all the, uh, just to get like everything within it. Because I've seen people like have like full sets. And I actually kind of want that. This is like the, I think this is the card I've purchased the most. Like the uh, car series I've purchased the most of. Anyways, we do have our first one here. And no, this is a little bit different from my usual stream setup. We're going to start with Komala. It's a Rosary. Ooh, I like this Rosary art. I've already seen this Rosary though, but still. Fantina. I know one of my friends has, likes Fantina a lot. And I think I pointed him out before in previous uh, unboxing videos. Ariados. Sableye. I think I... Oh my god, I think I forgot to, to mix up the uh, cards. Because I realized that the dark energy was in the middle. Uh, okay then. So I guess... Are we are th I guess that uh, our last two were supposed to be uh, the Sableye. Yeah, it was likely the Sableye. That was our rare. Or before that. I think it was Aridos and Sableye. So yeah, that is my bad right there uh, for messing that up. I will probably get more Lost Origins and just open them up. Because, like, my GameStop has, like, still has, like, a bunch of Lost Origin packs. And a lot of Silver Tempest ones, so who knows? Maybe I might save up just like I did before. But, uh, let's see what we got in this last Lost Origin pack. This time I won't actually mess up on opening it. 
and instead actually uh, shuffle them the way they should be. All right, one, two, three, four. Okay, here we go. We're starting off with our energy and, wait, I think I messed it up. Yeah, I did. I messed it up again. Uh, we got another uh, Snorlax. <laughs> Uh, as for everything else, we got Oddish, uh, Suing Growlithe, C Dot, Slugma, Tynamo, Haunter, Poliwhirl, or Poliwhirl, Licky Licky, Water Energy, and Mr. Mime and Snorlax. Yeah, uh, messed it up twice in a row, which is pretty sad. That's another Snorlax one. Finally, let's get to some new stuff Silver Tempest. I've only opened some of these. I've never gotten like a full like 10 or so of them, except for the Elite Trainer box. So I think it'll be nice to open up some more, maybe then I get some more more rare cards out of it. And my bad again for messing that up, I haven't opened up cards in a while, so I think I kind of forgot the whole uh, thing behind uh, doing them. Okay, I think you have to put one in front of the other like this. One, two, three, and four. All right, and flip it around. Yep, there we go. I got it right this time. Steel Energy, Dragonair, Donphan, Duosion, Spinarak, Ralts. Oh, this is very cute. I like the cherry blossoms. Sol Solosis, Krogun, Zubat, Reverse Foil, uh, Dracoloak, and for the rare, Keldeo. Very nice. And again, that's that Snorlax one I've gotten a lot. I think that's probably the one I've gotten the most of out of like any trainer with their Pokemon art. And uh, I feel like I wanted some more, honestly, like something different, because uh, I would have liked to see the ones that I haven't yet obtained. Because uh, I think that one in the Gengar with uh, the, uh, sis the three sisters are the uh the ones that i've gotten the most even though i i prefer much prefer the the, the uh, gengar one over the uh, snorlax one because i've gotten that one at least less and i actually really do like gengar i, I mean i don't mind snorlax but still like I, i'd like to see uh gengar that one's actually really good i just like that uh, art overall and there's some like more favorite characters in uh legends Ar rcs or legends arceus how do you like to say it anyways we got fire energy dracoloak we got a worker, very buff worker, Sunflora, Whalmer, Dratini, Fibas, Panfi, Litten, Reverse Foil, Mel Meowstick, and for the rare, Kling Clang. Not too shabby, I think there's definitely some better cards we could get. Now, I'm actually going to do a little prediction of what energy we might experience next. Like, we're not experience, but like, obtain next. If you guys uh, know what I mean. But, uh, let's see what we get. Uh, let me just raise this up just a tiny, tiny bit. I feel like that's a little too low. Anyways, there we go. Got that raised up a bit. If you guys want me to, like, do cool thumbnails like I usually do for my Fire Emblem ones, let me know, because I'm actually interested in doing it, but I don't know how to, like, implement, like, card renders or, like, how to hide cards. Uh, I'm not sure how to do that stuff, so I want your guys, like, input... Of like how do I make like a thumbnail? I don't want to be like anything clickbaity looking, because like obviously sometimes I don't record with a facial reaction, and obviously I don't really have the highest quality camera. I'm like you know I'm not gonna be some guy that's gonna get high quality everything for someone with a small uh, channel that does this for more so for fun. But you know just let me know what you guys would like to see for stuff like this. Oh I forgot to do the prediction, but we got an electric energy to start off. Start us off. We got Whale Lord, Fletch Hinder, Dracoloak, Spinarak, 
Ralts, Frogunk, Sol Solasis, Zubat, Reverse Foil, Slurp Puff, and for the rare, Miss Magius. This is a nice looking Miss Magius, actually. Really nice. Lots of uh, really good ghost type uh, cards in this set, honestly. Got, and it's, well, Psychic and Ghost, you know, since they usually share the uh, same type uh, on the uh, TCG. Uh, as for, I guess this will kind of be like a Pokemon Day-esque sort of upload. I mean, it's the day before Pokemon Day, or rather two days before Pokemon Day. So I guess I'll be giving out some memories and thoughts about Pokemon throughout the years. Uh, first of all, my first ever games were Pokemon Crystal. And uh, I remember playing those games quite a bit when I was younger. And I d didn't know what I was doing half the time, because I picked Cyndaquil. And I think I had a Hop and Onyx on my team. Rock Rock. Anorith. And yeah, I was just a young kid. I didn't know what was going on, but I was having fun either way. I never... Never, I don't think I ever gotten past the first gym, because again, I was like four years old. Clink, Wilmer, Dratini. But uh, when I first started playing Pokemon, I think I did what everybody used to do, and that was just like train up the starter and then get, get like a bunch of HM slates like, for the rest of the party. And whoa! Wow, that's badass, even though I do not really. I'm not the biggest fan of the. Uh, of Team Flare, but wow, that's a menacing looking Malamar. Wow, I was legitimately like, "What the fuck is that?" When I saw it, uh, like, my, like my, I just had to look away for a second. Like, what? And that mile looks really pretty, honestly. But wow, holy shit, that's menacing. Like the like the grunt isn't looking at you at all. No, not the grunt, but I know this guy's like that one who uh, who like takes Emma in and like you know has her in that suit where she gets like uh, mind controlled by it, but. Uh, yeah, this face, looking, Malamar sees you there, and she, it's like, it, it's going to kill you. Wow. That is a scary sight. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody has done this back then, where you just level up your Pokemon and just have, like, a bunch of HM slaves in your party. So you have your HM slaves as, like, sacrifice, while, while you heal your, uh, starter, who's, like, overleveled. And, uh, my Empoleon and my Diamond Copy, rest in pieces Diamond Copy, by the way, I lost it, uh, was level 94 and was female. I think I beat Cynthia via a struggle, because, like, I had no PP left and I managed to beat her. Uh, it was a level 94 Empoleon by the end of it. It was a female one, too, by, uh, on top of that. And I think I caught my first ever Shiny that wasn't Gyarados in it, too. Uh, or the Odd Egg. It was a Shiny Zubat, and I was like, whoa, a green Zubat! Wow, and I caught it, and I was, like, very happy, and then I lost the copy. Anyways, we got Dark-type energy. We got Candice. Rock -a rock Uh, B... Behean. Chimeco. Baneri. Drowsy. Spinarak. Ralts. Reverse Foil Torcat. And for the rare... Whoa, Regieleki Rainbow! Let's go! Wow! We got our, our, our Rainbow... We haven't got one in a, quite a while. Very, very nice. Two back-to-back, -back, like, amazing openings. I guess talking more about, uh, some Pokemon memories is helping out with this, huh? Well, uh, I guess we can move on from, from, uh, Gen 4 games. Well, I mean, there's still also HeartGold Soul Silver. I remember it was my, uh, cousin's, uh, birthday, and that's how we actually went to get HeartGold Soul Silver on the day of his birthday party. And, uh... We played it after we came back from the party, and I was really enjoying myself, especially with the Pokewalker. I actually legitimately started walking for, like, the, like actually legitimately walked around it went in my, like, for the first time in my life with it. And I was, like, like you know, enjoying walks, because I had the Pokewalker. But I was, like, 11, 10 years old around that time. And, uh, really excited about... Those games are amazing, honestly. I really loved the, uh, Harkle Souls over, and maybe we might do it someday, someday in the future, who knows. Uh, we got Dark Type Energy, Curlia, Torcat, Dragonair, Tratini, Feebas, very peaceful looking, honestly. Sandy Guest, Relicamp, Halucha, and Molga. And for the rare, we got Regieleki V, so back to back Regieleki's. 
But, uh, yeah, uh, I think my next few memories, aside from, like, you know, uh, I think I, that was, like, the first one I actually had, like, a team built, in a way, uh, where I didn't really focus on the starter too much. I think I had, like, a Quagsire, a Feraligator, uh, oh my god, all the cards fell. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else I had in this, uh, team. Uh, I'm unsure about any fire types. I think I had, like, an Espeon, maybe? Because, uh, I do believe I had, uh, an Eevee that I got. Because I remember I was also watching Chugga Conroy's, uh, Crystal Let's Play around this time as well. Uh, so I was kind of, like, playing along in a way. Uh, I honestly can't remember anything else that I had. I remember I really liked using Quagsire and Frolligator. Uh, because it did bring me a lot of memories back to Crystal, which I loved a lot when I was younger. And then afterwards, I think one of my most played Pokemon games came out, which was Pokemon White. And I think I've mentioned the story before, and this is, about, by the way, this is the last uh, Silver Tempest pack that I have. But, uh, and also we'll guess, uh, that it's gonna be a Fighting Energy. So there we go. First guess, finally. <laughs> Without, uh, talking too much. But, uh, yeah. Uh, it's the same copy that I said that I've lost, and I actually found recently. And uh, I found my team, I think it was a Samurai. Uh, I remember there there might have been a fighting type in there. Might have been Throw or something, or Conkel. It was Conkel, do they are. Oh, it was a Dark Energy. Uh, I might have to look at that team again, but yeah, re Regenerative, Un Unidentified Fossil, V Guard Energy, Ponyta, Venonat. Dupider, Spinda, Phoebus, Esper, and Aw. It has like that little, uh, woolly, uh, look to it. And Armaldo. So that's it for the Silver Tempest. But yeah, so White was an amazing experience. I think this is like when I, I think I had to wait to play it a little bit longer because this is like when the 3DS came out. And so I traded my DS in. I was waiting for the 3, 3DS to come out. You know, it was day one D 3DS. So yeah, uh, it was an, uh, it was a blue 3DS. I forgot, like, the names for it. I know, like, the th they had, like, Midnight Purple at one point. Like, like, nicknames for, like, each color. Actually, I could see... I could actually see I have a poster of, uh, from, like, a gaming magazine or something that I used to get back then, uh, on here. Let me see what it was. Yeah, there was a Midnight Purple one. So there was... I think it was Cosmic Blue. I think it was Cosmic Blue. Uh, because it was the only two colors that came out at that point. Uh, anyways, here's the box. I think I'll show it slowly. Uh, I guess you can't really see the full thing. I guess if we, uh, lift this up a bit. There we go. So, yeah, we're gonna be looking at that. Opening that up. But, yeah, uh, had to wait for that, and I really enjoyed Black and White. Uh, I think it was, like, the first time I experienced, like, something more story-driven in a Pokemon game, like, super story-driven with, like, massive character development. Because, like, there was some very heavy lore in Gen 4, which I didn't quite understand quite yet, because I was still, like, a, a, like, a young kid. So, like, I mean, it was pretty cool seeing, like, the legendary Pokemon from Gen 4, which was pretty amazing. Like, you know, the, the gods of Pokemon, and also all that other stuff. I think, like, it was, that game was, like, the first time I actually started noticing stories in video games. Uh, wow, this is a really nice look to it. If I have to, it looks feels more metallic compared to the other ones. I guess we could zoom out again. Look at that, and also the cover too. I'll show it in just a bit. It's uh, got a little see-through thing going here. Looks very nice. But yeah, all, that stuff is just uh. Like, the first time I experienced, like, a more story-driven game. And then, uh, Black Tomb White 2 comes out, and that game, I think, I straight up legitimately made, like, a full team where I actually treated every Pokemon equally, and I believe my team had, like, an Ampharos and Lucario. It had a Samurott, again, because I love Samurott. Uh, it had a Lilligant, a Minchino, and a Flygon. So that was my whole team, and I loved that game. I think it was probably my most played Pokemon game. Uh, Gen 6 then came around, I got that for my birthday. It came out October 12th, a day before my birthday. Uh, 
It was a birthday gift from... I think I got, like, X. Well, actually, I got X. I also got Y as well, but I gave Y to my sister. Uh, anyways, here's the point. Metallic coin right here. There's, I don't think there's anything on the other side yet. Yeah, it's just blank. It just has a band-aid on the side. Metallic coin, really nice. It also comes with a nice little uh, card carrying box with Lucari on it. Yeah, this is the Crown Zenith ones. But uh, it looks really nice. There's also another metal coin here. We also got the uh, B Star uh, thing here. Yeah, metallic dice too. I always like the metallic stuff over the uh, the flimsy plastic ones. I know it's not really flimsy. But, uh, we got another coin here. It's the uh, it's the poisonous one. And we got the Lucario coin too. And this again feels more metallic compared to the more plastic ones we're usually used to. And there's Lucario right there. But uh, yeah, a lot of memories with Gen 5 as a whole, and then Gen 6, I did have some great memories with Gen 6. Uh, I lost, I sadly lost everything because I was, I was an idiot back then, and I was trying to move uh, stuff into like other 3, because like obviously new models of 3DSs would come out, and also I lost, uh, so like I would move over my Pokemon from, I think, uh, yeah, I downloaded Alpha Sapphire when Alpha Sapphire came out, and I moved some Pokemon in there, some Pokemon that I had that, like from previous gens as well. And uh, I lost my copy when I tried transferring everything over to my, uh, my new 3DS. And uh, I was really sad. I lost a shiny Butterfree that I actually caught on my first adventure in uh, Pokemon X and Y. Uh, my team, I think it was a Chestnut. I actually did pick Chespin originally. And I really like Sam. I, I, like the, I, I honestly like the entire Gen 6 uh, lineup, honestly. It's a really, honestly, really cool lineup. Uh, I picked Blastoise as my Kanto starter. Uh, I had, I think, either Ampharos or Raichu in it. I feel like I overused Raichu quite a bit, but Raichu was actually kind of broken in that gen, and wow, Hungry Clicker's art looks so sick here. I know the artist, it's Hungry Clicker. That, that Lucari art looks so awesome, I'm not gonna lie. No, sorry for the interruption there, but, uh, yeah, that lineup is really cool, and also I think I had Raichu, I had, I mentioned Butterfree, I think I had some sort of Dragon type, I don't, I don't think it was Gudra, I didn't have Gudra until my second or third playthrough of uh, X and Y. Uh, can't really think of anybody else at this point, all I know is that those four Pokemon I'm definitely sure, it was Blastoise, Raichu, Butterfree, and uh, Chestnut were my first four, but yeah. I enjoyed X and Y, and I think I enjoyed Oras even more. Uh, and yeah, again, I lost a lot of shiny Pokemon I had from my past, uh, from the past. I had, like, a, uh, a few shinies that I had transferred over from, uh, Gen 4 all the way to Gen 6. And then Sun and Moon came out. I think Sun and Moon were also, I think, games I didn't really think of, but now that I look back at it, were really amazing games. And I think it might have been the first, it was the first Pokemon game I actually... 100% of the decks, like the uh, national decks in the game. Uh, so I caught all the Pokemon that you could get in the entire game. Uh, registered them in my decks, and I got the uh, Shiny Charm for the first time, which was pretty cool. Uh, and again, I really love the story behind Sun and Moon as well. One of my favorite stories in Pokemon. And I honestly low-key wish that I did it on a capture card, because I felt like my commentary and everything was really good. But I felt like I, if I required a, ca a 3DS capture card by that point, or like, you know, the way I'm recording it now with uh, Fire Emblem Awakening, I feel like I probably would have enjoyed that Let's Play even more than I did when I was uh, originally doing it. But, uh, yeah. So we got the Crown Zenith here, a full 10 packs, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they're all, uh... Uh, Zamazetta and Zacian. Well, let me recount. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, uh, yeah. And then Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon came out. I didn't finish the post game for those games. I was trying to shiny hunt uh, some Ultra Beasts like uh, Buzzwell and Faramosa. Because I really liked uh, the Bane esque colors for uh, Buzzwell. And I also like the, uh, the nice white into black for uh, Faramosa, the nice monochrome colors. Uh, sadly did not get to finish those fully. I, don't, I think it was weaker 
in terms of story, but stronger in terms of content compared to Sun and Moon. I just really enjoyed it. And then obviously Gen 8 and Gen 9. I think those are two recently for me to look back on those and like feel nostalgic over. But I still enjoy enjoyed those games. But yeah, uh, those are some, some of my favorite memories about the uh, mainline Pokemon games. Uh, anyways, this is our first pack here for the Crown Zenith. This is the final pack for Gen 8. So no more uh, Gen 8 focus. Our ne next pack, uh, well, first set of Gen 9 is going to be releasing. And we're going to be seeing a lot of Gen, Gen 9 Pokemon from Sprigatito to uh, Cerulege to Tinkaton to all the others. I'm mentioning a lot of Pokemon I picked in my first playthrough. But uh, yeah, one, two, three, and four. And we got ourselves a V-Star card to start us off. Because it shows itself, obviously. Because of its back, black uh, background. All right, we got electric, lost vacuum, great ball, glaring Mr. Mine, Sun Kern, coughing, oddish, Salandit, reverse foil, great ball, and for the rare Scizor. Ooh, this looks really nice. Looks really badass here. So, yeah, just a lot of me good memories down, me a good little trip down memory lane there. I wasn't going to go too in-depth on everything. So I do eventually want to share a lot of my Pokemon stories in a po Pokemon Let's Play for each game. But, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll, we'll have a Pokemon game sometime soon. But I think, for now, my next few games are going to be focused on some other franchises that uh, are new and we haven't really focused, and one that we haven't really focused on in a while for the uh, next two. So yeah, those are, I guess, little hints for the uh, next two Let's Plays. I already mentioned that the uh, next one is going to involve a classic game on the NES. It's a franchise we never played before. So you guys are going to be quite excited for that. It's going to be a much shorter game since, you know, it's on the NES. But uh, I think it's going to be a little nice trip because I am I am a little bit nostalgic towards the uh, thing, this, this uh, not series, but I guess like the uh, cast. Uh, we got Electric Energy, Pink Churchin, Pokemon Capture, Bishard, Sunkern, Coffin, Oddish, Solandit, already getting a few repeats here, Energy Search, Reverse Wheel, Rockruff, Aw, it's a wing at the moon! For the rare Luxray, very pretty looking here. I like the, the blue and yellow lights clashing with each other. Very nice. And as for the one after that, I guess the only hint I could say it's a previous franchise we played, but it's one we haven't played in a while, so uh, I guess try to divide everything there and uh, try to see where, try to narrow things down from there. Yeah, I guess I don't really have anything much else to say aside from opening up the other cards that we have left. We have 10 left. So uh, I guess we could get to opening up. So some of the art here has been really nice. And uh, the Crown Zenith cards don't really have any other card art, so I'm guessing they they're switched staying with just one card art now. I don't know if that, if, unless it's just because it's like the finale, it's Crown Zenith. They're just sticking with one card art to say like, hey, this is Sword and Shield's final hurrah. So we have the two mascots on here. So I guess that would make some sense, but I don't know. I've been seeing that the uh, these, the Japanese uh, packs have been having uh, only Sprigatito's final for Mialscarda. And the uh, Skeldridge and uh, Waxaball. I forgot uh, Quaxley's Final Evolution full name. But uh, we've seen only those four on there, so I'm, that's making me question that uh, are we only going to be getting like only one card art now? Like, not card art, but you know, the card like box, I guess? Not box, the uh, wrapper art. Honestly, I wish they released like full arts for a lot of this stuff. Even like the the uh, box arts on to the the uh, elite trainer boxes or even the uh, the wrappers that they're used to uh, to keep the cards intact. And I hate this right now when the blue plastic over here comes off and not everything that you want comes off. I think that's easily one of the most annoying things about opening up cards. And I do not want to go and get 
scissors right now. My only other choice is to see, hope that I did bring along some uh, nail clippers, maybe? And I did, okay. I'm trying to grab them. Don't want to accidentally cut the card either. I know I could just show you guys what I'm trying to open up, but again, I've done my camera on. And then uh, I worked out earlier today, and uh, my, hair, my hair's a mess, and I also been having a rough school week. So uh, I hope you guys do bear with that. I know this is a very long video. Well, it's a nice little trip down memory lane. It is a Pokemon Day esque uh, unboxing. So we're celebrating here with a uh, some card openings, some nice chill car card openings here. Anyways, we got our first four. All right, there we go. I hope the next few go much quicker. And I guess we could also start predicting again. So, fighting energy, gloom, crushing hammer, ultra ball, chatot. Yenma, Ponyard, Bidoof, very cute looking, Potion, Pikachu, and for the rare, Lycanroc Midnight. The Pikachu art looks very cute. Aw, it's like underneath this like leaf umbrella. So cute. Like, uh, I actually really like the uh, huge card art that they're doing now for Pokemon that aren't even like V or V Max or whatever. And I know they're going back to EX for the uh, new lineup, so that's pretty cool. Alright, here we go. But, uh, yeah. I hope you guys do enjoy those next two Let's Plays. Uh, we're not quite finished yet with Awakening. I know that we're very near the uh, end of the main game. But we still have a lot to do in terms of paralogs and uh, posting content. A lot of the side stuff, too. Because uh, this is stuff that uh, is going to be very very tricky for me especially because again i never really played the dlc much but i'm very interested in trying to go through it a little bit blind i like having like a nice mixture of blindness as well as like you know something new kind of like with a uh, pokemon ranger how i never really did the post game you know i beat the game itself the electric to start us off rescue carrier Girafferig, Yanma, Ponyard, Eve, Ocean, Mr. Galarian, Mr. Mine, Fire Energy, and for the rare Eevee! Oh! So cute! Look how happy it looks! Wow! EVG. I hope, I think that might be the alternative card art for that. Very cute. We got Pikachu into Eevee. Back to back. Uh, other stuff, uh, that, that, uh, for me, in terms of, uh, what's going on in the channel, uh, yeah, we're very, again, very close to being done with Awakening. I do like, you know, having somewhat partially being blind, uh, when doing a, a game, because I feel like it's, it's helping me discover something new, while also enjoying the game with you, whoever's viewing it. So I get to explain whatever I know, and if you guys have anything to say that I don't know, I feel like it's a good way. It's a good way of saying, like, you know, to introduce you to a game that maybe you played long ago, or if you never played and you're just learning this along with me. I don't know, that's just kind of cool. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna say we're gonna have a psychic energy. Let's see, three, two, one. Ah, oh, water. Luxio. Very cute. Oh, it's cuddling with its plush. Let me see the plush there. It is a Greedent. <laughs> Out of all plushes to get a Greedent. We got a Digging Duo. Uh, Shaman. Actually, uh, one of my streamer friends uh, caught a Shiny Shaman. I actually did tell them. Uh, I dropped a few subs for them to go Shiny Hunt for it. Uh, Shout out to Endless. Uh, Young Goose. Cherubi. All Gen 4 Pokemon here. Starly. Switch. Execute. Radiant Eternit to e wait, Eternitus. Wow. Very cool. And for the rare, Ve Regigigas V. Really nice opening there. I did not know that uh 
we're gonna get a. Uh, I did not know that Radiant uh, Eternatus was in this, let alone that there was a Radiant Eternatus. But uh, yeah, uh, I guess I could say one thing. I originally was going to do a remake of a Let's Play, uh, but I decided to hold it off because I felt maybe there was something better for it and down the line. Not better for the remake, but I guess I'll explain it whenever I get to a future, future Let's Play. I guess I might have said a little too much, like, remake. I don't know, you, could, you guys could think of anything, but, uh... There is some games that I did want to remake playing. I guess I'll probably talk about it during future projects. But, uh, yeah, there there was a remake Let's Play bit. Well, actually, two of them that I had in mind, but I think I thought of some other stuff for it. Anyways, uh, and I forgot, once again, I forgot to say it. Dark Energy, we got Lunatone, a new card, and Soul Rock as well. We're getting some Gen 3 ones. Rare Candy, Ponyard, Krikatok, Shanks Aunt, playing with a book. Very cat like. Mr. Mime, Sunkern, Reverse Boiled Badoof, and for the rare, Double. Oh my god, I threw up a bit in my mouth. But yeah, opening cards, I've honestly, ever since uh, they started booming again, I, it just made me get a new hobby. Especially because I love Pokemon quite a lot. Like, I think, like, the whole, like, everybody else getting back into it, well, I guess more so scalping for it. Me, I just more so enjoy because I just like to get a lot of my favorite Pokemon. I just like the, mis the, myster the mystery behind opening up all these cards. And I'm going to say we're going to get a Grass Energy here. Hopefully you can at least get one right. There's four, and let's see. If I'm right, oh, it's electric. We got Shaman, Crushing Hammer, Carnivine, Krikatot, Aaron, or Aron, Riolu. I guess we already see one of the reverse foils. Starly Scyther, Reverse Foil Entain for the rare Luxray. Not too shabby. We got, I think, four left. No, actually five. So we're a little bit more, a little bit over halfway through. As for my 3DS capture card, it has not arrived yet. I haven't heard back from the guy, and it was originally sent back to me. I don't know if he went to the post office, because I know that our Royal Metal was having a lot of trouble. Uh, and strikes recently. I sent it to Evo Capture. He's in, he's in uh, England. So I'm going to be patient on him. I know he's been having a lot of uh, personal uh, IRL issues to deal with. So uh, I'm going to be patient with him and I'm going to definitely understand where he's coming from because uh, I think everybody has probably dealt with something rough in their lives. So I'm going to respect his, uh, trying to respect his privacy as much as possible. You know, I do want a little bit of an update if he's able to, you know, say like, hey, I have your thing, I don't know why your, uh, your thing hasn't uh, changed, because my tracking says that it's still being sent back to sender, so uh, I don't know if they update or anything, because like, I, I checked it like, the, like last week, you know, it was supposed to arrive back in like early January, but yeah, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna hold off for, I'm gonna say it is a fighting energy, oh shit, let's go! Uh, Lunatone, Solrock, we've got another starting thing that's similar. Moss Vacuum, Purloin, again, very cat like. Uh, Grubbin, Skrelp, uh, Helio Helioptile, Helioptile, Wulu. Oh my god, this Lapras looks so pretty! Wow! And that, those waves behind the Mantines, the uh, other water Pokemon like Finneon. Another Lapras behind it, too. So pretty, and uh, I think there's a Pelipper up there, too. And for the rare Mewtwo! Wow! Really cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm, again, really holding out for you, people capture. Let me just be nice and patient with them. If they do up update with me, that's pretty cool. If not, I just hope that uh, they're doing well. 
and uh, I hope they're just, you know, in a, in a better uh, place mentally, and I hope that their problems have at least uh, calmed down for them. I know that they're going to start stop uh, doing uh, capture cards after this, like making capture cards. But yeah, if I do get it, then I probably will be making content, like maybe uh, do streams with uh, 3DS games or even do Let's Plays with them, because I do want to actually record them or Let's Play them. A or stream them, you know, all that uh, stuff. Uh, I'm gonna say it is a steel energy. Wow! <laughs> okay, back to back. Layer on. Friends in, from, in Sinnoh. I know there's friends in, uh, in uh, Hisui as well. So uh, we got Dawn, Lucas, Volkner, Cynthia, and Barry. Gloom. I know. I think there's a trainer art for that as well. Pokeball, Corfish, Oddish. We got rhyming Pokemon here. Seal, Krikatot, Reverse Will Gumshoe, and for the rare, Zer or Aw. Looks very cute here. You never really see uh, legendary or mythical Pokemon act cute too often because uh, I guess mythical Pokemon, yeah, depending on the mythical. But uh, I guess for like Zer or like you know something as be like beastly and cool looking as it, like you don't really see it too often that they're acting very cute it's kind of like Mewtwo because like he, he's not too big of a Pokemon like in terms of size to act like scary looking or badass looking like a like a one of the weather trio like Kyogre or Rayquaza or God like a Arceus or Giratina but it's also like not small enough to be cute like it's uh, Mother Mew or like Victini for example But, uh, yeah, I guess their aura kind of fits in that sort of, like, category, where it's, like, it could look badass, but I guess it could also look cute. Alright, next one. I'm gonna say that this one is going to be a normal energy. Actually, are normal energies even still like, more on these things? I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna say that it's going to be a fire energy instead. And, wow, it is a water energy instead. Anyways, lost vacuum, so we couldn't go three for three, couldn't get the three peat. Electric. Well, electric, not electric. Uh, Larvesta, Tangela, Ball Toy, Galarian Yelf, Whalmer, Dunsparce! Oh, look at all the Dunsparce! That's so cute, and for the rare Rayquaza V, very nice, wow. They've been really giving us some really nice cards, especially in terms of art. The Dunsparce one is really cute. Got two more packs to go. We're nearing the end here. Again, I'm happy that you guys came here to watch this. It's a uh, Pokemon Day, or pre Pokemon Day unboxing uh, featuring Crown Zenith, Lost Origins, and uh, Silver Tempest. So, uh, really nice cards here overall. And uh, I am going to be streaming the uh, Pokemon Day Presents very early in the morning. So, uh, same day that I have class at 12, but luckily I'm going to try going to bed up very early that day. So I could get up and actually feel good streaming it. That's going to be 25 minutes long. There are some leaks going around about it, and I kind of missed it. I was probably going to say, like, maybe uh, Fire Energy again. So I think it's Dark. Crushing Hammer. Dust Claps, very nice looking, honestly. Trek uh, Trekking Shoes. Energy Revival, or, or Retrieval. Shinx, Larvesta, Ponyard, Whalmer, Reverse Royal Sun Current, and for the rare Leafeon V Star. Ooh! Really nice cards again. And uh, we're on to our last one here, too. So let's see this last one. And all these cards have been really amazing out of the Crown Zenith of the uh, Trainer Box. Oh yeah, so uh, I guess as well as like, but yeah, again, I think there's already been a few leaks from the uh, things, and it's actually been leaked by Pokemon themselves because of their website. I'm not going to name what it is, but uh, I'm very excited for it. And obviously, there's probably going to be some DLC for uh, Scarlet and Violet announced too. And I say our final one's going to be a. Psychic one. Three and four. 
Watch as it is fire this entire time. Oh, it was grass, huh? That was actually my set, my original choice, but... Great ball. I guess we'll stick with Psychic and be incorrect. Trekking Shoes, Luxio, Wulu, Helioptile, Pancham, Switch, Snow Runt. Oh my god, that is adorable! Zer or VMAX, this is the one card art that I shared to one of my friends in, uh, int, uh, or internet. Wow. And for the rare, it is double. But oh, this one is uh, uh, so cute. How Zer Aura is Gigantamax and has Pachirisu just laying on top of it, just sleeping away, hugging its tail. Wow. What a way to end it off. Really excited for Pokemon Day, y'all, and I'm th these card openings were absolutely amazing. The Crown Zenith did not disappoint in terms of its card art and what uh, cards we've obtained. Wow. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, unboxings. I also hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, you know, the trip down memory lane in terms of Pokemon, how I got into the series and what game, the games I played that feel nostalgic towards me now. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, that... Uh, I caught a shiny Zora. Uh, you know, the school... So, like, obviously, like, you know, compared to Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, obviously you get, like, different Pokemon because, like, different versions, like, you know, you'll get, like... Like, in Black 2 White 2, you actually get more Pokemon outside of the region uh, of, of Unova. So, uh, now the, uh, back... The Pokemon Trainer School actually had wild Zoras there. And so I caught one... And I saw it's nature. This is when I was starting to get into uh, natures and IVs and such. And I saw it had a very bad nature, so I was like, you know, what, let me catch one more. And uh, it turns out it's a sh the next one is shiny and had the per the perfect nature. And I was like, so happy. I kept that thing, and I did not know that this thing could cheese the uh, Ultra Necrozma like that. And apparently, it's an actual strat. People just capture Zora and Zor and can evolve into Zora, have it in their party, and beat uh, and beat the. Uh, the final boss, aka, well, it's not really the final boss, but it's like the bit hardest boss in the game, uh, Ultra Necrozma with it. And uh, that's actually exactly how I beat it. It like just kept using psychic attacks on me, even though it did not affect me whatsoever, and I was just pretending to be another Pokemon. But yeah, I think that's another very nostalgic memory. But yeah, thanks for looking back at all these nostalgic memories, because you know Pokemon Day, and this is a franchise I have a lot of love towards. Uh, you know, always opening these cards, always doing some Let's Plays, even playing these games off screen, like I did with uh, Scarlet and Violet. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, and yeah, some really, really good openings, a really fun trip down memory lane, some, uh, I guess, a couple of hints towards future Let's Plays, and you know, just some stuff with, uh, you know, games in general. Like, uh, two games that I got recently, you know, the 3DS capture card, all that shit stuff. But, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys then. Sorry for the very long outro, but yeah, peace.